Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Cami's Craftiques. My name is Cami. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Macari, eBay, sometimes Depop, sometimes Vestier. I go under Cami's Craftiques on all platforms except eBay. That I go under Collecto C0613. I will um, put it in the description box. Um, I'd like to start with thanking everyone who has watched any of my videos, anyone who has purchased anything that I am reselling. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers. I would also appreciate if you're watching this and you don't subscribe, if you can subscribe, hit that bell for notification and everybody, if you could give me a thumbs up. Also, if you do um, leave any comments, I do respond back to them. So anyway, um, I'll be filming two videos today. Um, I decided to do them separately because I have two boxes. Um, they're both from Thread Up. They're rescue boxes. I have a 15-piece handbag rescue box and a 25-piece mixed women's uh, clothing box. So I really can't wait to see what I have. I did just open the boxes. I didn't look inside. So you'll be seeing everything for the first time just as I will. So I'm hoping it's a good box. Um, I'm not sure which box is on the top because I didn't remove the tissue yet. All I can say is my 25 piece clothing boxes that I have received from ThreadUp have always been very good. Um, I, you know, I didn't video back then, so you, you know, you don't really know. But these are my first videos. Okay, so like I said, this box is already cut. I am about to open it. And right on top, not even, it was just on top of the cardboard is my invoice and this is my rescue box handbags 15 items i paid 120 dollars for that i do get free shipping from thread up because i you know purchase boxes there often um with tax for me it comes to about 127 dollars so here we go um just a loose piece of tissue paper on top. I'm going to put that on my couch. I usually put it on my couch so I could put the beds or the clothing, whatever I have on it. Okay, so right on top we have this brown bag. It doesn't feel like real leather. Um, it does have like some charms on it. It has a key. Let's open it up. So it's definitely a shoulder bag. Um, let's see who makes the bag. So I see nothing on the outside. I want to say though it is not real leather because it doesn't feel like it. Um, okay, there. I don't see a maker. I do see a tag. And it's 100% polyurethane. I don't know if you could see that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's in good shape. I don't normally sell polyurethane bags. Actually, it's not in good shape. I do see a mar over there, like a floor, a little rough spot. Um, I am probably going to re-donate this bag because like I said, I usually like to sell uh, leather bags unless it's a uh, faux leather and is something really cute about it, different story. Okay, so the next bag is, it has a crossbody strap and it's an adjustable strap as you see here. Um, it has some tassel, again, I don't think this is leather. It feels more of like a polyurethane, I'm thinking. I'm checking these, the tassel. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think this is real leather, though. But let's see. Okay. So the inside of this bag looks super clean, the lining. I don't know if you could see in there. Um, I do not see... Oh, wait, maybe I do see a maker. Nope, uh, I do not see a maker. But inside the bag, it does have a little zipper pouch. Let's see if that works. Uh, nothing even on the zipper. Okay, so... There is a little zipper. Ooh, it feels like there's some kind of residue in there. Um, maybe I could wash that out. I don't know if I'm going to list this bag. There are pockets inside. Not sure if I'm going to list this bag because, like I said, um, I usually list leather bags. I don't think there's anything too special about this bag. Um, the lining on here is seems to be caught on the zipper. Uh, wow. Okay, yeah, I'm going to move on from here. Okay, but the bag, I mean, I'll probably donate it. I want to say the strap is removable. You can fold it over like a clutch. Okay, that was bag number two. No leather bag so far. Okay. Oh, this is a leather bag. Okay. So here is a small little handbag. Cute for doing errands. Um, by Tagnanello. Tag, Tag okay. If you could see that in there. Okay, so I should get a flashlight. Um, there is one pocket here. Here's the main compartment. Uh, it looks clean, the lining. It's black, but it does look clean. There's a zipper pocket. I believe this is real leather, so I will list this one. It's, a, it, it's cute. Okay, so here's a Franco Sardo bag. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. So there is an outer compartment on the front of the bag. It has magnetic closure, um, decorative, yeah, gold hardware. Um, I do see a little scuff here in the leather. So if I list this, I will disclose. Oh no, it was just a piece of lint. Look at that. So, yeah, there, there is no, you know, hole in that leather. Um, okay, again, another magnetic closure. Okay, so I see three compartments. Here's one. Here's the zipper compartment. Okay, I think I saw a little stain, yeah. There is a little staining. I don't know if the camera is picking that up right over here. So there is a little bit of staining on the lining. Nothing, you know, too bad. Like, I would still use a bag like that. Um, then they have on in this other compartment, there is another zip. Okay. And I also see like the two little pockets, like for your glasses and cell phone. I don't see a tag saying it's leather, but it does feel like, um, like the pebble leather. So I'll list this one. It's not a bad bag. It's a cute shoulder bag. I do see some threads over here, excess threading. I will snip that off. I'm going to tell you, if you didn't watch my other um, rescue box for handbags, that that box was phenomenal. This one, I mean, it's so far okay. The other one, it was just like right from the start. Good, 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 and better. So we'll see what else I have.
This feels like a leather bag. Okay. Okay. And again, more threads. So I'll cut those off. This looks like a silver tone hardware. Um, I can't see. I'm trying to see the maker. I can't see the maker over here. There is a side pocket there. A side pocket here. It's adjustable. Both sides. The straps are adjustable. Okay. So it's a pretty roomy bag in there. Like, you could fit a lot in this bag. It does have the little, um, oh, no, I thought that was a key thing. Oh, that's part of the zipper. Okay. Um, so there is one zipper compartment. Make sure that all the zippers work. There's one of the pockets, and it has a little snap closure. I, you know, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, another little pocket. Oh, oh, okay. It's, it's Cole Han. I don't think you're going to be able, I don't think the camera's picking it up, but yeah, the tag does say Cole Han. So decent bag, nice bag, leather. Okay. And, uh -oh. okay. I'm not sure. I think the zippers broke. Let's see how that is, but Oh, okay. Okay. I got it. So you know how like you, your jacket is where the zipper comes apart. That's how, that's how this is. Okay. Right. So it's not broken. It just zips that way. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'll be able to list this one. I'll look up comps for that. Here is just like a gray, feels like faux leather. Okay, it's a tote by Rossetti. Magnetic closure. Um, has one pocket here. Let's make sure that works. It has, you know, your little pockets here, a little flap to hold it. Um compartment there oh this is for your computer um, it has the cushion you know for your laptop okay so it's more of a tote bag and I see a piece of velcro here I'm just kind of wondering where it velcros to okay I'm not gonna continue oh here it is okay the strap is here so there's the velcro to hold your computer in. There is another pocket there, zip pocket. So I, so yeah, um, um, okay. I do see a little missing piece of leather. Although I don't think this is real leather. Um, I don't know if I'm going to list this. We'll see. I'll look up comps, but I mean, it's faux leather. I see a piece missing here. I think I may donate this one. Okay. I need a higher stand or something. So here is just a handbag. Not sure if it's leather. Okay. It has like little skeleton keys here. Okay. There's some studs over here. I don't know if you can see the studded trim. The bottom doesn't have feet, but it has like leather strips. I guess to keep it elevated just a tiny bit. Okay, zipper. Okay. Let's look in there. The inside lining looks really good. It has a zipper pocket. It's 
hard to zip with one hand sometimes. It has the other pocket here. And then, you know, the eyeglass and telephone pocket. I don't see a maker on here. Um, oh, there's a lock. Okay, maybe those keys. I'm going to see if those keys lock it. Lock the, the bag. I lock it in the pocket. It does. Okay, so you could lock your bag. How cool is that? Okay. That's pretty cool. You could lock your pocketbook. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I guess you could put it through and lock up your bag. And you have the key right here. So I'm trying to look for a maker of the bag. Oh, Ellen Tracy, 100% genuine leather. Okay, so this bag is made by Ellen Tracy. This is cute. I mean, it's, I want to try to describe the leather. It's a, like a, kind of a stiff leather, but I really think it's cute because of that little lock. So yeah, I'm going to list this one. I'm turning weird because last night I fell asleep right here on the couch for about an hour and I must have uh, been at an awkward position because my neck is killing me right now. Okay, so the next bag is Franco Sardo. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, and it feels like fabric, like maybe a nylon uh, maybe with a, a leather trim. Okay, so there we go. So there's one main compartment. Then it has, oh, I got to vacuum that out. There's all lint in it. And there is a tiny, tiny bit of staining also. Um, but there's the pockets for your phone and eyeglass case. Then there's, I don't know what this is. Um, I can't read it. It may be like a light or something. There's something in there. I, I'm going to have to look into that a little bit more. But I may list this bag. I'm not 100% sure. If not, you know, I'll donate it. I just want to save it from going to the landfill. Um, obviously, this is my business too, so I would like to make a profit, but I got into like thrifting a long, long time ago. I used to just like thrift household items because I always loved like giving things a second life. And now that I do clothing and handbags and shoes, I love when I get something that, you know, brought joy to somebody and now it's going to bring joy to somebody else. I love that. And you know what? It keeps it out of our landfills. Okay, so here's another bag. I got to fluff and reshape these bags a little bit. Um, a little very minor scuff there. This, I think, is also leather. I see, ooh, nice print. You see that? There's le uh, leopard. Nice lining. Okay, so you have a side pocket on that side. Okay. Oh, side pocket on this side. So you have two nice side pockets. You know, if you keep your keys here so, you know, you don't lose your keys. Um, there is a little wear on this pull tab, a little discolorization. Um, let's check out the inside. It does have the magnetic closure. I do see a maker. And the maker is, it looks like Sophia 
Caparelli. Okay, I don't know if you could see that. I never heard of Sophia Caparelli, so that is something I'm going to research on. Um, there is a zipper pocket here. Let's make sure that zipper pocket works. It does. It has the two, you know, cell phone eyeglass case and then the main compartment. Okay. And magnetic closure. Let me see. It looks like everything's in good shape. Here's a tag also. Let's see what that tag says. It says body genuine leather. Okay. And then the lining's polyester and it's like a silky feel. So I'll definitely list this bag. I do have to research it a bit. Ooh, this bag. It, this is definitely leather. It feels so soft, super soft. Um, I need something higher. Um, okay, just needs a little reshaping. It looks like a mini satchel. Okay. The leather, I, I, oh my God, the leather is just so soft. I can't make out the, the it, it, there's writing on there and I don't have my old lady eyes on. Okay. Okay, so there's something in the pocket. No money, I was hoping. And it's attached. It says, a uh, special sale, 350, where did it go? <laughs> I swear, you all saw this. It said $356, but, oh, there it is. So it says $356, it was in there. I, I'll look up you know, what new bags go for, like in this brand. Okay. Um, it says Caggiano on there. So I'm going to look up what the comps are for Caggiano. I want to say it's probably missing a shoulder strap. So right now, it's just like a top handle satchel. Okay, lining looks good. It's dark in there, but looks good. Another pull tag, and now that I know it says Caggiano. Zipper pocket, okay. The, the leather though, even on this weave it is just so soft i definitely want to do some research on this bag but oh, i did just notice there is a little tear um i guess i'm gonna still list it because i feel like someone who knows how to sew if they got like a leather needle they could just sew that up i'm just like so amazed this bag is like so soft. I, I like none of these bags, the leather is this soft. So yeah, I'm going to do some homework on that bag. Okay. Wow. We're almost to the end already. Okay. So here is just an ivory colored tote. Uh, it is broken. Um, let's see if there's a maker. There's a pen mark. It's Forever 21. Um, I'm going to donate this, so I'm not even really going to get into this bag. Because, like, I see, like, a scuff. It's Forever 21. This strap, you know, came out of, you know, came undone. But I'll donate it, or I'll see if anyone I know wants it, you know, just to carry stuff or, like, keep in the car or something. Here's another tote bag, and this is definitely a polyurethane. 
It has a tie closure, no name, no brand, like that. Um, yeah, I won't list this. It's very thin. Uh, maybe I'll keep this in my car, you know, if I'm going to the store or something and I need a bag, because like if I go to Hobby Lobby, there's a piece of hair, Ew. um, you know, they, they, Hobby Lobby requires you to carry, bring your own bags. So I don't want it to throw it away. I'll either donate it or I'll use it. Okay. So here is the next bag. I do see some scuffing on it, but what I do see, and I really like this, is like the hardware. These look like big screws. Okay, so now that I'm looking at the front on my side, I do see a couple of marks. There, there are pockets, zipper compartment. zipper compartment. It is a crossbody or, you know, just a regular shoulder handbag. 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 Um, okay, so it's one large compartment. Zipper pocket. I see no name. Okay. I don't see any type of maker, so I'm probably gonna donate this. Okay, wow, this is purple. Okay, so here is a purple crossbody, or, you know, depending on how you wanna carry it, bag. Um, with a pocket here. I don't know, this this bag, I think I'm gonna donate it. It doesn't feel like real leather or anything. So I don't think, you know, I don't think I'm going to list it. Um, dudes, yeah, let's see. Made in China. I'm trying to look to see if there's a maker here. Oh, yeah, right here. It is Chinese laundry, okay? I'm gonna say I'm going to donate that. I do see like a smudge of some sort. I am going to say that's gonna go on the donation pile. Okay, here's a little leather and it's a Vince Camuto and it's a crossover, removable strap or wristlet. Let's open it up and see how it is. Okay. Oh, I like this. Yeah, it has a place for your credit cards. Here's a compartment. There's another compartment and another. At first glance, the lining seems pretty good. I like these little bags like this because, oh, it has a snap to um, hold the zipper. That's pretty cool. I never saw that before. Um, so anyway, I like these little bags because when I go thrifting or if I'm running around doing errands and I don't want to carry my big bag, I just stick my, my license, my debit card, you know, sometimes a checkbook, whatever I need. My eyeglass case would fit in here because I wear old lady eyes. Um... <clears throat> but I'm going to list this because this is cute unless I keep it. But yeah, I'll, I'll list this and I can feel that it's, it's leather. We are down to the last bag. And I knew it. I knew this was going to be Betsy Johnson just because of the color. And it has the quilted hearts. It's in a hot pink. And... This is like an orange. I'm not sure if it's an orange or a red. The lighting right now is not the best. Um, the XOX Betsy tag. As soon as I, I saw the colorful and the 
quilted pattern. I've sold quite a few Betsy bags before. So the lining looks good. And the lining says XO Be Betsy. Usually my the linings that I always sold have like the rose print in it. So we have that zipper compartment. Um, yeah. And then there's the front compartment. Okay. So I'll list this Betsy bag. I've sold them before. They sit a while, but eventually the right buyer comes along. And this is in really good shape. I don't see anything wrong with it. So that was all my bags. I, so I'm going to do the count. That's bag one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So they did give me one extra bag. Um, out of the box, I want to say I'm probably gonna sell maybe eight or seven of the of the bags. So we'll see how I do in ninety days. I will do a recap on what sold in this box, but um, it wasn't a bad box. It just definitely was not as good as my first uh, video of the handbag box, of the rescue box, but um, would I buy another handbag re uh, rescue box? I sure would, because I think I can make my money back, and that's what I'm really concerned about, is making my money back great if I could do it with a profit. Um, I probably will have a small profit. I do have to research a bag, but at the end of the day, I think it was a decent box. It was nothing to write home about, um, but it was decent. So thank you everybody who has watched this video. Please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please, uh, you know, subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications and give me a thumb up because that helps. Um, and also if you have any comments or if there's anything that you like, comment to me and, you know, Check out, you know, my closet on Poshmark. Um, thank you all for spending some time with me, and I hope to see you all again. Thank you. Bye-bye.